The scene shifts to the next day when Class 5 goes on a school trip. The class dynamics change a lot after the recent monthly vote and the dodgeball fight the day before. After going to the aquarium, everyone goes to the beach, Suji still hasn't told her friends about how Haram used Suji's dad to threaten her and tells them she might delay uploading the recording. Haram meets Suji in private and asks her how it feels to betray her friends and Haram's goal to break the friendship of Suji's team. Meanwhile, Yerim is mad to learn that Unjong has decided not to compete in the swimming tournament this time, she goes to find Unjong to ask why and if her will involve Haram. It turns out Haram used Yerim's debut to threaten Unjong, and now she intends to use Unjong to threaten Yerim to betray Suji. Not only that, but she also meets with Jae Hyun and uses her brother to threaten her. Jae Hyun's brother is attending a job interview today at a law firm, and the interviewer used to be the legal consultant for Bacon Corporation. Haram wants to use her power to make all the people around Suji betray her. While the girls go to dive, Haram is pushed by someone and falls into the diving pool. Haram is very good at bullying but doesn't know how to swim and starts to drown. Jaun instantly jumps in to try to save her, then Unjong and the lifeguard also jump in to help them. Haram is fine, but Unjong's leg is hurt after that. However, when Mr. Lim finds out, he only cares about Haram and shouts at everyone else. He wants to bring her to the hospital, but Haram doesn't want to go and steps on his feet, telling him to shut up. Dua saw Wui was the person who pushed Haram and tells her not to act on something she can't control. Wui freaks out and tries to deny it, but then admits she didn't intend to do so and that no one else cared about Haram, except Jaun, who was the only one to jump in to help her. Meanwhile, the rich girl's dads are having sushi together. Duas dad mentions the pyramid game and thinks they should tell their daughters to stop because it has become too violent and serious, involving also them as the parents. In the evening, the girls are transported to their accommodation and they are asked to divide into five groups. Su Ji's group sticks together, and Yurim joins them, while Haram signals for Un Jong to join her group. Yurim turns out to be the friend who betrayed Jaun, leaving her in rank F. At night, Haram texts Yerim and Jay Hyung, telling them they will have to follow her orders. Later, Yerim and Jay Hyung surprise Su Ji with a cake for her birthday. They all have fun, and Yerim posts their pictures on Instagram. Wu Ri sees the pictures and comments, looks like you are having fun. Meanwhile, Wu Ri is still haunted by the nightmare she had in class 5. Sun Hua texts her, promising to help her get rid of all these bad memories. Wui meets Haram and asks her why she didn't do anything even after realizing Wui was the person who pushed her. Haram says that someone else has angered her more, and to her, Wui is no one. Jaun suddenly receives a phone call from her mom. Haram has Jaun's mom brought to the accommodation to meet her. Jaun's mom is happy to see her and brings her some strawberries, but Jaun, for some reason, is scared and looks at Haram. Haram tells Jaun's mom that they should meet more often, which terrifies Jaun even more. After Jaun's mom leaves, Haram stamps on the strawberries and repeats what Jaun's mom says that So Woon, the name Haram uses with them, is Jaun's best friend. She threatens to expose Jaun's secret and also reveals that Su Ji has betrayed them to protect her dad. The next day, the class participates in a paintball game. Woon Baiyal states that the person who gets more than three shots will be eliminated and have to go to the final to choose one as rank F. Yerim tries to meet Unjong to talk about her swimming career, however, they both get shot, and when Unjong sees that Yerim already has two shots, she shields Yerim and takes the shot herself. Wui ends up attacking Su Ji and accuses her of ruining everything since she transferred there. Su Ji fights back and manages to get her gun and starts shooting at Wui. She keeps crying, and Su Ji asks her to stop acting like a victim. Meanwhile, Haram finds Jaun, and Jaun stays still to let Haram shoot her three times in a row. The game ends with Su Ji, Jaon, Jae Hyun, Woon Jon, and Ji Ae getting shot the most. Woon Baeyeol asks them to shoot each other while telling one bad quality of the person they are shooting. The game stops when everyone runs out of bullets, and the one who gets shot the most will be the rank F student, Yerim, Jae Hyun, and Su Ji receive a message from Harim asking them all to betray their friends. Haram tries to break their friendship, and eventually, Jaon is left alone like before. However, Jae suddenly points the gun at herself and keeps shooting while calling herself a traitor. A flashback from the night before shows Suji, Joan, Jae Hyun, and Yuri meeting outside and telling the truth about Harim trying to blackmail them. Jae Hyun tells her friends that she did not care about her brother losing his career as he always beat her to the point that she had to get eye surgery. Yerim also claims that Eun Jong is no longer a friend to her because she doesn't prioritize her career. They also tell Joan to stop blaming herself because everything was Harim's fault. A flashback also shows that Suji didn't delete the voice recording. In the present, all of the girls point the gun at themselves, and Suji stares at Harem. 
Zhao Un, Su Ji, and Jie Hyang shoot at themselves, acknowledging their own flaws. Then, they turn to each other and playfully highlight the good traits of each other, shooting at one another. Meanwhile, Haram is furious and recalls a childhood scene where she was shot with toy guns by her classmates. Un Baiyel notices and signals Dae Yun to stop the girls from having fun. Dae Yun approaches and aggressively yells at them, but Un Jong intervenes. Dae Yun becomes enraged and hits Un Jong, who is pushed and falls onto a wooden board. Everyone rushes to help her and sees her leg bleeding out because a nail on the board has stabbed Un Jong's leg. Un Jong is then brought to the hospital. Mr. Lim, angry, calls the principal to inform her about the incident. She asks him to resolve the issue and ensure that Un Jong's family won't make a big deal out of it. She then sets a meeting with Haram's mom, Duas' dad, and Dayun's dad. Haram's mom tells her to keep the incident a secret. Meanwhile, Dayun freaks out and meets with Duwa and Seol Ha. Dayun blames Un Baiyel for telling her to intervene and get into trouble and hopes Haram can help her get away with this. However, Seol Ha gives her a reality check. Dayun is pissed and insults Seol Ha, telling her that they are not at the same level because Seol Ha's dad is just her dad's driver. Seol Ha gets offended and walks away. Meanwhile, Jaun has a flashback of her and Haram when they were kids, seeming like Jaun was a bystander when Haram got bullied. Jae is bullied in her group and moves to stay at Suji's team place and is welcomed by everyone. At night, no one can sleep because they are all very worried for Un Jong and want to know if she is okay. Suddenly, someone rings the bell. Mr. Lim calls all the girls out and informs them that Un Jong has been transferred to Seoul for the surgery. He also warns them not to disclose the incident, stating that what happened to Un Jong was just an accident, and assigns Dae Yun two months of corridor cleaning as punishment. Su Ji tells him they should call the school violence committee instead of giving cleaning duties, but Mr. Lim dismisses her. At that moment, Yerim receives a message from Un Jong's coach, telling that Un Jong can no longer swim due to her injury. Dae Yun, drunk, informs Mr. Lim she'll send her housekeeper to serve her punishment. This infuriates Yerim, who grabs Dae Yun's head and tries to attack her. Su Ji recalls all the horrible things Dae Yun has done and then stops Yerim, asking to make Dae Yun pay herself. Haram then texts the group chat, stating she has already decided on a punishment for Dae Yun. After the trip, Dua visits Un Jong at the hospital but avoids Ja Un and Yi Rim upon seeing them arrive. The next day at school, Su Ji tries to recruit more girls to her team and leaves them a note under the table but she only received two responses, she also spreads the news about Un Jong and Dae Yun on a chatroom app for students. Dua shows her dad that the news has already spread everywhere on this chatroom app and it will quickly reach the press and other social media platforms. Meanwhile, Mr. Beck tells Haram that he will send her to study abroad because he can't stand her anymore. Even if she uses the proof of his money laundering to blackmail him. Haram tells him that her grandmother likes her more than anyone else and won't let this happen. At school, Mr. Lim enters the class and tells Dae Yun to come with him to the office, informing her that she will be transferred. And if Dayun's family give him enough money, he will tell her new school that she was actually the victim, however, Dayun's dad arrives and jumps in to beat her up ferociously. Su Ji goes to the convenience store, and Sung Hwa gives her the usernames and passwords for anonymous accounts on the chatroom application. It turns out Su Ji and the girls use these accounts to spread the news and then delete them before they can be tracked down. Then, Sung Hwa will create a new set of accounts for them. That's the only way they can avoid Haram's influence. Meanwhile, Haram goes to her mom's office and screams at her for letting Dae Yun go. Haram's grandmother arrives, scolds Iwa, then turns to Haram and praises her for acting as a leader. That night, Haram waits outside Jaun's house again and cuts off her hair. She also sends Jaun an article framing Su Ji's dad for corruption. Jaun receives a call from her mom, Haram had told her mom about her secret, and she asks why Jaun would do something like that, causing Jaun to break down into tears. The next day, Su Ji notices Zhao Un isolating herself and checks on her, but Zhao Un tells Su Ji to mind her own business. Su Ji is surprised by Zhao Un's sudden attitude change, but then Haram arrives, shocking the class with her new haircut. Su Ji sees some hair on Zhao Un's shoes and realizes something is up between them. However, due to the final exam that day, Su Ji can't investigate further. At night, she goes to see Sung Hwa and tells him about Zhao Un. He then shows her a few recordings from an app he secretly installed on Zhao Un's phone. Su Ji is angry that he spied on Zhao Un's phone, but he shows her a few recordings to prove that Su Ji can trust Zhao Un. They then find the article Haram used to threaten to ruin Su Ji's dad's career and understand why Zhao Un has been acting weird. At home, Su Ji reads the article about her dad and overhears him screaming at someone on the phone, suspecting that the call is related to the allegations in the article. The next day, Zhao Un continues to avoid Su Ji because Haram threatened to label Su Ji a bully and tarnish her reputation.
Su Ji's group meets again on the roof without Zhao Un. Su Ji shows understanding and tells her friends that Zhao Un needs time. She asks her friends to recruit more girls to their side to win the vote to end the game. Su Ji even volunteers to take the rank F if their plan fails. Eventually, they convince more girls to join. Su Ji explains to the new girls that what appeared to be just a game is actually a bullying scheme orchestrated by Harem. With 13 girls, they now have a majority against her. Meanwhile, Wari learns Yaron will perform at the school festival and decides to attend the next day. Su Ji meets Sun Hua, who gives her another secret camera to install in the classroom. The next day, the school celebrates its annual festival after the final exams, on the last Thursday of the year. Yaron performs with her group, and Sun Hua attends, disguised with a cap. After her performance, Yaron leaves the stage in tears, followed by someone in a teddy bear costume. Meanwhile, Su Ji goes to meet someone. The school bell rings, signaling the time of the month for class 5 to return to their class for the vote, suddenly, Dua bursts in to join the vote, telling everyone she is still one of the class members, meanwhile, Yerim is rushed to the hospital on a gurney, leaving Su Ji in shock, furious, Su Ji returns to the class and confronts Harem, grabbing her by the neck, convinced she is responsible for Yerim's condition. Thank you for watching, subscribe and like for more videos like this.